What is the definition of accessibility? People often have a different understanding of accessibility, but for me, accessibility equals inclusion. That's it, full stop, roll the titles. Hey and welcome to Expert Zone UK and I and today we are going to show you some of the Windows 11 accessibility features that empower every person with no exceptions to achieve more because not all superheroes wear capes some use gadgets yeah clever now these awesome features are designed so they can be used by anybody that might require them whether they have a permanent a temporary or a situational accessibility need and actually the features work so well that you might find yourself using them all the time but Matt what are these five great features I hear you all cry and how do I access them well two of the quickest ways to access the accessibility features are this one of them is on the bottom of your taskbar on the desktop where you see the battery life icon, the speaker volume or the Wi-Fi connection. You can click these symbols and quick settings will magically pop open just above the symbols. You should then see a box with a person inside of it and that will say accessibility. Alternatively, press and hold Windows and hit the U key and you will have all of those fancy superpowers you can play with at your fingertips right in front of you. So now we know how to access accessibility settings, what are the five great accessibility features? Oh well. Number one, magnifier. Now did you know that in Windows 11, there is a built-in magnifying glass that enlarges words and images, and with customizable settings, you can use it as all or part of your screen. Now to move around the screen, simply move your cursor as if you're using your mouse normally or using a touch screen, you can touch the screen and this will allow a bar to appear around the edge. You can then simply tap the bar for the direction that you would like to move or you can see a plus symbol in the top corners and a minus symbol in the bottom corners to zoom in or out. If you do not have a touch screen, you can simply zoom in by pushing Windows and the plus key or zoom out by pushing the Windows and the minus key. You can also use the Windows and the plus key together to access magnifier, which for my old man eyes is, is amazing. Number two, color filters. Now color filters allows you to boost contrast or get rid of color completely. Now when I say completely, it won't erase it from the universe like a supervillain clicking his fingers, but it will remove it from the visual color palette of your device until you switch it back on. Now to find the best color settings for you, head to settings, select accessibility and select color filters. Once you have selected which color filter suits you, you can toggle these on and off in quick settings. Number three, sticky keys. And no, I don't mean where you've spilt strawberry jam on your keyboard, other jams are available. It is a way of using your keyboard shortcuts without having to use multiple keys. For example, the keyboard shortcut for copy is Control and C together. And to access Task Manager, you would have to hold Control, Alt and Delete. Now this isn't always possible if you can't use your fingers or maybe you've broken your arm or you have to carry a barrel of custard, which is very difficult by the way. So by switching sticky keys on in the quick settings or pushing shift five times, control, alt, shift and windows keys become sticky, meaning that you can press one of these keys and release it and then push the next key that you wish to use next. Number four, mono audio. Now mono audio is one that is close to my own heart with having an audio accessibility need. Mono audio takes stereo sound and puts it into one balanced track so you can get exactly the same left and right audio in the speakers or headphones that you use. So this is great for someone that might have partial hearing loss or that is deaf in one ear. Another quick audio setting is the option to flash my screen. And this is where instead of getting an audio notification, Windows will flash your screen, just like it says it will, to notify you instead. Very handy. Number five, narrator. Now, Narrator lets you use your PC to complete common tasks without even looking at your screen. 
So if you're blind or you have low vision, narrator reads and interacts with things on the screen like text or buttons. And this means you can read and write emails, browse the internet and work on documents, all with the help of your own epic soundtrack. With great power comes great accessibility. Now you can also customize generator voice speed, speech pitch and volume. And the narrator experience is completely customizable to the user. Again, to access this, head over to quick settings or use dem hotkeys, windows control and enter and let narrator do the talking. Accessibility window, narrator, toggle switch on, three of five. So there you have it, five great accessibility features from Windows 11 and the best part, they all come pre-built into Windows 11. So go forth now and go and do great stuff with no barriers. Subscribe to more for updates, overviews and how-to content and let us know what accessibility features you would use and let us know if you would like to know more about it. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side and I'll see you soon. Peace.